behind these barrels are two balloons. I'm going to shoot two arrows around the barrels to hit the balloons. Now, I've been working on these curving shots and I got it figured out. I know my last video, I went into a little bit on how to curve the arrow. I was kind of learning how to curve the arrow. And uh, now we're going to go into more detail. Um, all you need is some arrows. Now, right here, I have my typical, you know, knocking, knocking point where I knock my arrow straight. All right. Say we want to curve it from around the right side of something. We're going to take our knock, put it up here. And the arrow is going to be facing down. Now, whenever you shoot, you're going to want to be aiming more to the right than you usually would. You got to practice with it. And it's nice when you have open field like this and you kind of see the air. All right. So you shoot like this. And then if you shoot kind of in this direction, it's going to go to the right and curve down. That's typically how I curve it. Um, the flatter, if you shoot like this, it's going to go a little bit more flatter. And as far as the curve in the air goes, it only curves maybe 20 yards and they'll straighten back up and go straight. Um, but yeah, that's how you'd want to curve it from right to left. So we're going to shoot it real quick. I'll show you. I mean, I'm not shooting around anything right now. So you just take the bow. I don't know if you can see the arrow right there, but it went round to the right, then straightened up, went straight. So when you're curving around something, uh, make sure you're, the thing you're curving around is, you know, 10 to 20 yards. Now, you can curve it around the left side of something if you angle it down like this. But you gotta have the object really close. That's what I was doing in my last video. I had a tree fairly close to me and I was shooting around the tree. Now, the best thing to do is I like to do is this is a shelf bow. So if you had a, a bow without a shelf or you know the ones that kind of wrap around like that where you can do it on both ways, um, you can use it like that. But what I did is I attached a, uh, a rest it's a muzzy bow fishing rest. It curves around like that. And in that case, you can go, turn your bow like this, pull back and shoot, and it'll curve from left to right. And that's how you do that. And I, I typically like to knock it up here um, for farther shots, and that's what, it tends to go smoother. And the weird thing is, you can knock it down here too, and curve around the right side of something farther away, but it, it vibrates the air a lot. And it doesn't look as pretty as you would knocking it up here. Same thing if you want to shoot over something. You could uh, knock like this, aim a little high, and it'll shoot and come down pretty quick. Um, but basically all these shots will curve a little bit then straighten out. Um, as far as modifying fletchings or anything, it doesn't really work. Maybe I haven't really tried bent errors like a really like aluminum shaft kind of bending it a little bit I don't know how that fly that might curve a lot more um, and the less fletchings you have the more it's gonna curve now this one will cur curve maybe two to three feet and then straighten back up now if you had like a curved area or something to part curve a lot more um, I haven't had anything that does like a 180 I haven't got into that but this is typically how I curve an arrow, is uh, shooting it with the knock up, and uh, like this, you know, kind of cockeyed, like that. Comes to the right, comes down, works really good. But I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope this helped out a lot when, whenever you're trying to figure out how to curve an arrow. Um, practice, you know, just practice shooting at a target, and then maybe put something up that you know, you wouldn't mind hitting. Because <laughs> when you first learn, you're going to hit it. Um, so, you know, put up something. I usually use barrels. I don't really care about hitting them or not. Um, trees work good. Um, just make sure to use some cheap arrows.
because if you hit a tree really hard, um, it might break your area. And uh, I typically, you know, I, I don't really, I don't come back to full draw. Like I just, you know, use a little bit draw and then let go. Um, maybe a quarter to a half draw. Uh, I typically don't use a full draw. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, but yeah, I hope this helped y'all out. And uh, let me see some videos of y'all curving some errors. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. If you like the video, please press like. I'll be posting more videos like this in the future. Um, I enjoyed it. Thank you.